What's up everyone, it's Sammy or Alpine M55 and today I'm gonna be showing you how to install speed limit info in your BMW F30. Okay, so to do this, you're gonna need Beamer code. So you go ahead and connect to your car. All right, now start off at head unit and you're gonna wanna go to expert mode and then at the top, search for speed limit speed limit info set that to active go back and code all right now after that go ahead and go back and then you're going to go to instrument cluster and then go to expert mode click continue and then search for speed underscore limit you're going to set this one to active and then you're going to set ki underscore pia underscore speed underscore limit to active as well and then click cancel and go to code now you're ready to install the hardware this is the SLI emulator right here. So this box right here has a harness plugged into it and this harness is gonna be plugged in behind the instrument cluster. And to take out the instrument cluster, you're gonna need a T20 bit and it's only two screws. All right, so if you look right there, there's one of the screws and then there's the other screw. These are both T20 once again. And um, once you take out both of the screws, you'll be able to pull the instrument cluster right out of its place. And there are two wires behind it that you need to disconnect. And I'll show you how to do that in one second. But before you do anything, be sure to lay down a microfiber to not scratch your expensive instrument cluster. Now with those two screws out, you can just put your finger up here and pull the instrument cluster right out of its place. Push it up because there are clips at the bottom and it will pull right out of its place. All right, so now the next thing is to get these wires disconnected behind it. All right, so to get the wire out, there's just a little clip on the back. You just pull it right out and then that will connect into this hole right here on our new harness. Okay, now this is the side that plugs back into your cluster. So what you need to do is find the arrow on it. You need to make sure that arrow is pointed down and then it should slide right into this little adapter that is included with the kit. So now this entire thing will plug back into the cluster. All right, so now with all the wires attached, it's time to tuck the box away which you can just put down here below. And then put the instrument cluster back in by pushing it in all the way, making sure the bottom tabs go in. And then you can flip it right back up. Now the next step is to put the two T20 screws back in. Start off by hand tightening. All right, now I'll just go ahead and tighten them with the screwdriver. And now let's go test it out. All right, so starting the car, right away we can see that there is a little circle with the three dashes through it. I'm gonna go ahead and start driving around and let's see if the speed limit shows up. Okay, so right now it's showing nothing, but as soon as I turn on to a main road, it's now showing that the limit is 50. For some reason it reads in kilometers per hour, I'm not too sure why, but it is completely accurate. This road is 50 and I'm about to go make a right onto another one that is 45. And as you can see, it instantly updated to 45. So it is completely accurate as to where you're going. As long as you're on a main road, some neighborhoods, they do not have the uh, miles per hour located in your GPS because this does read from the GPS. I'm not too sure exactly how it does it, but all the data is read from GPS. 
So um, that's pretty much it. That covers everything on how to install the SLI and how to code it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below uh, or hit me up on Instagram. And I'm gonna be leaving a link to the SLI itself down below in the description. So if you'd like to grab one for yourself, feel free to hit that eBay seller up. They have a ton of them available. That's pretty much it. You guys take care and have a great day. Thank you for watching.